Hey guys, welcome back to Pops and Props. Today I'm going to show you how to make Lucille from The Walking Dead. So let's get right into it. Materials and supplies. A baseball bat, of course. Wood stain. Sandpaper. Some black acrylic paint. Gloss clear coat spray paint. A roll of pre-made barbed wire. You will also need three quarter inch fencing staples, a drill, and a hammer. So the first thing I do is roughly sand the baseball bat. It is already sanded and pretty much ready to go for stain so I didn't have to do much. Next I just wipe off the dust with some paper towel. Now I'm just giving the bat a beating trying to make it look old and aged and weathered before I put on the stain because when you put on the wood stain all these dents and cracks and scratches will appear through the stain and make it look really good looking. Next I just grab my wood stain and I shake it for about 10 to 20 seconds just to prepare it for staining the bat. And next up is applying the first coat of stain to the baseball bat. I let this dry for about 24 hours and then moved on to the next coat. So guys, this is what the first initial layer of stain looks like on the bat. It does look like nice and weathered, but I'm going to show you what I am doing. So I am using two different stains. I am using special walnut for the first coat, and the second coat I am using English chestnut, and it will end up looking like the handle here. And I really like this color, so I think this is going to turn out amazing. Next is the second coat of stain. I decided to go with this English chestnut color, which I just love. Here I am just quickly marking out where I want the Louisville logo slugger to be. I'm using the screen accurate prop and my own prop just for some reference to make it a little bit easier. Now I'm just taking my time drawing out the circle of the logo. Once again guys, really take your time with this to make it look as good as you can. Now I'm going in with my black acrylic paint and I'm just doing a thin black line around the circle. This is how it should look. Now I'm going in once again with my black acrylic paint and I'm just thickening up the line. Once again, take your time with this. I want it to look as good as I can. So this is what the logo should look like now. I'm really happy with how it turned out, but it looks a little too perfect, so I'm going to go in and do some sanding. Here I am just roughening up the bat a bit with my sandpaper. I'm just doing little scratches kind of all over it just to make it look as old as I can. Now I'm hitting the logo with the sandpaper. I'm using a couple photo references in the background. If you want, do this inside because I was having a really hard time seeing my reference photo. This is what the baseball bat should look like now. I'm really happy with how it looks and I love how weathered it looks. Now we're going to go in and do the final protective coat. Here I'm just taking some paper towel and I'm wiping the baseball bat off to remove all dust for spray painting. Now I'm using some semi-gloss clear coat spray paint and I'm going to give a nice heavy coat on the baseball bat. Now we are putting the barbed wire on the baseball bat. So of course, the first things we will need are our baseball bat and our barbed wire. We'll also need a hammer, a drill, and this is with a drill bit that's the same size as our fencing staples. And then we'll need three quarter inch fencing staples. So the first thing I am doing is I'm putting the little strip of barbed wire I made on the top of the baseball bat. What you want to do is you want to pre-drill your holes first, put your barbed wire on it, and then hammer in the fencing staples. After that, I start wrapping the barbed wire around the baseball bat. So I put the barbed wire in a vise, I slowly walk out my baseball bat, and then I roll the barbed wire onto the baseball bat with my hands. Once I get there, I pre-drill the holes, and then I hammer in the fencing staples. This is what will make the barbed wire stay nice and tightly. After that, I pre-drill and hammer in a few extra fencing staples so the barbed wire will stay put. And this is what the completed Lucille bat looks like. I'm pretty happy with it.
Well guys, that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this prop tutorial on how to make Lucille. If you guys want to see more videos like this, be sure to leave suggestions down in the comments down below. As always, don't forget to do those three things, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.